As the Coyotes face a tough time in the middle of the season, losing three top-tier athletes, what will happen? Who will carry on the team? Found out in the next episode of the Secret Coyote Society. Adapter. Okay guys, we're on our way to Cuyameca and just a driver. It's gonna be uh, if, uh, about a two hour drive. Currently. Nate, you have any words to say prior to the race? First time going to Mount Sac, excited. We're gonna crush this as a team. And I'm gonna be proud of anybody and everybody no matter what. Oh, I thought you were awesome. Good morning, Manny. Good morning. Manny, Good morning. Um, I'm gonna put his like little bio here. It's gonna include Jewish or something. Okay, tell us how you feel. It's uh, 5.30 currently. Do you feel any jitters prior to the race? A lot of jitters, bro. You took jitters. a big fat shit right now. A lot of what? What'd you say? You said a lot of <laughs> I took a shit. This is what came up. Go follow Kai and hit up TikTok. I feel very good for my race. Yeah. I feel very good for my race. I can't good. wait to wrap my mouth. I don't remember sack. asking. It's gonna be awesome. Nate, man. are you good? Woo! Ready? That sucks so much. This is like literally my least favorite race in high school, and now I have to do it at a four mile. So, you know, the boys are hyped, you know, we're great at it too. And like this? Yeah, you, you, it's on. It's recording. Oh. Hello guys, we at the meet Monsac. Uh... The track. Sheesh. Look at that beautiful track. Goodness, what? I don't know. <laughs> Her tummy hurts. It's a video. What hurts for you? Don't be shy. How did it feel to be famous for a couple of seconds? And the, anyways, we're just gonna ignore that. What? Oh. Aww. If you could describe the race in one word, how would you describe it? Dope. How would I would you describe it like. Oh. I ain't heard of that thing. Uh huh. Anyways, how would you describe it? Uh, today's race was very disappointing for my individual. <laughs> disappointing? <laughs> yeah. How come? Well, I didn't meet an individual. Hmm. Next time. Next time. There you go. How would you describe it? By the it? team, we did a great job. How would you describe it? Manny. <laughs> hey, Kenny. What time do you wake up today? At 3. How are you feeling right now? Terrible. Terrible. Well, I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna fall asleep later today. Because sure. I need to drive later today too. So I need to sleep. Alright. Alright guys, we made it to school. Finally, it's uh after nine hours of running and being on the road. We finally made it. The boys are satisfied. Sweet. And yeah guys, uh, we really had a good time in Mount Sac. We got third place in as a team and we scored pretty well against a lot of schools. And yeah guys, so training's paying off. The boys are hyped 
and we're ready for state in five weeks. See you later, alligators. Next, next is a conference. After conference, we are gonna race regionals and state meet. So next one will be a uh, uh, for a conference. So focus on conference right now. All right, guys. Yeah, keep in touch. Uh, subscribe, like. I don't know, and no smoking allowed. Today we're uh, interviewing Diego Lopez, two-time Olympian. So you were absent in Mount Sac. How was that? How's your injury going, Diego Lopez? <clears throat> uh, good. I mean, it's still like better. <laughs> Do you like men? No. Do you believe that female athletes should be paid as the same as male athletes in the NBA? No. Alright Diego, so what is your next goal, next meets, competitions? The boys want to know about this. Yeah, well I'm not going to run for a conference, but um, I'll be there for regionals. Um, but my main focus will be on state meet. Hopefully I get All-American again and help out the team a little bit. It's not about the individual anymore, it's about the team at this point. Okay, okay.